Cryptocurrency is all about narrative. Narratives continue to change for Luna Classic, but the end result of all of the narrative is an increased amount of burn of tokens, which would increase the value significantly of the remaining supply. This is a great thing, but let's break it down. Let's go through. There's a lot that actually has happened over here in the last couple of days. We're going to break it down as quickly as possible. If you like the type of content, you know what to do. Uh, let's get into it. First, before we get started, if you haven't already, go sign up to terracasino.io. Uh, they are doing the the, the great work. Uh, Two million in euros given away uh, in conjunction with the World Poker League. You know what cryptos you can use. Luna Classic, Luna, XRP, Bitcoin, Ethereum. You know the drill. USDT, USDC. Los Muertos Locos is now available. Check your region to make sure that it is available. And daily drops of $11,000 between October 1st, October 27th. What are you waiting for? You want to be broke all your life? Okay, now, in the news, uh, let's you know kind of break down, and we've looked at some of these articles, but um, reaching a dollar, uh, major rally imminent, strong upward movement coming, everybody's starting to see the charts, everybody's seeing how it's breaking out, it's going to break out. Not only that, over on Twitter, classic Lunkus prime frame massive breakout. Analysts predicted three zeros, 24. Yes, I did. 254 uh, billion Lunk about to be burned from this Terraform Labs wallet. In conjunction with that, 176 million USTC getting ready to be burned from this wallet. Folks, I'm about to stake 10,000 XRP in my Cryptonomy.finance account for a nine month yield. Okay, transaction complete. Let's move on to the next thing. Not only are you able to stake your crypto, not only are you able to earn yield off of new cryptos launching, you can also borrow stable coins, borrow fiat, and borrow crypto. Additionally, folks, there are several big things that are in the pipeline. Strategic collaborations, the global unicorn selection expansion, uh, and then this drives significant returns by identifying and supporting high potential early stage ventures. And if you are worried about the market, don't be because Cryptonomy.finance is prepared for market volatility. They are playing both sides of this coin. Uh, they are going long. They are going short as the market allows it. And you, my friends, have an opportunity to earn some yield off of these. Go stake at Cryptonomy.finance today. So, Huge amounts of Luna Classic about to burn. Huge amounts of USTC about to burn. How are you not bullish yet? Well, let's move on. Here's a reason to be annoyed. Tax to gas. Uh, looks like it might be DOA. Um, you know, we've talked about this for a long period of time. And there is some fight back. There is some pushback, by the way, from the community that want to vote no on tax to gas. Um, they, look, they, everybody has a personal opinion. They don't really have a, a reason why other than their personal opinion. But you've got people talking bad about it, people talking good about it. Uh, this is a change, and this implement a simplified tax handling on Terra Classic. And this is Strathcole changing it up because, clearly, Genuine Labs did not get the job done. And here we are. The proposal seeks approval to deploy the reverse charge mechanism on Terra Classic and replace the tax-to-gas approach. The reverse charge solution simplifies tax handling by automatically deducting tax from the amount sent before it reaches the recipient's wallet, eliminating the need for the sender to pay the tax as an additional fee. This is what we've been talking about for a long period of time, and this paves the way for the repeg, in, at least in the in the mechanism by which I was saying before, in that, you know, after your transaction, you sell a million Luna Classic uh, to, to the pool, then... After the transaction is done, before it hits the the supply, then you deduct the tax in that context. So I'm not charging you ten thousand lunk for a transaction. Uh, I'm taking ten thousand from the million that you sold, if that makes sense. Uh, the system retains full backward compatibility and offers developers an option to use sender side taxation. Uh, for fund transfers if desired. The approach also solves the double taxation issue on contracts that is present in the current system. Uh, the existing tax system on Terra Classic requires the sender to cover tax fees on top of gas, which has been a significant development burden for DAPs. 
so it's looking to fix everything. Now, uh, this is a new way of at least considering it. Uh, Jesus says, Lord is in here saying, I have some questions I would like to be clarified and explained. Um, and you know, they, they, he's asking for simple questions here. By the way, I encourage you to go to Commonwealth and read this. Uh, Strathcold then answers to each of these questions, and then they, um, uh, then they start arguing about it. But you know, it's what happens. Meme coins. Meme coins are still pumping. Uh, look around here. We've got uh, Cat with Hat up to 105 all time high. Guys, told you I gave you Cat with Hat. I got sixty dollars worth. Said it's 106 dollars right now, guys. I, you know, I mean, what more do you want? Uh, you got a nice big pump off of it. Juris fifty dollars now 105. Boys fifty dollars now 101. Food fifty dollars. Actually, I think food was twenty five dollars. It's now ninety two fifty three. Uh, Garuda X still down just a little bit, but we got more USTC. I cashed out some of the uh, uh, rewards over on Station. By the way, I don't think you have to do anything with Station. If I if there is something that needs to be done, I will let you guys know as quickly as I possibly can. No proposals up on Galaxy Station. Now let's look at price action. We're still just kind of meandering around here at 409, kind of in that range. And look, it, there was a lot of profit being made yesterday, so there was a nice big move. Now, what you need to see, or what we need to see, is are we maintaining our structure? And you know, it looks like we're maintaining the structure. So for the last couple of hours, there's been downside momentum. So broadly, the market is down about $14 billion in the evening. Why is that happening? Well, I, you know, I don't know yet. Uh, it looks like that it's just the the natural effect of when you pump a hundred billion dollars the day before then there's going to be people who sell out because they're swing traders or scalp traders who are just making a little bit of profit taking money out of the market in order to sell themselves back in money's coming back in don't worry about it so uh i think the continuation would continue here in this context to make that move to that three zeros eleven range with a final closeout range up here again right in this range right here now uh, a lot of people are saying three zeros 24 like i said you know like we said before i don't know if that's you know we're, we're splitting hairs about what that location is and what that direction is you know it's based on all this stuff has been happening over here uh we've done this multiple times we've seen it play out multiple times so now the question is when does maybe that's a little bit Maybe it's because it's right there. Um, so, you know, we break out right here. Then we come into that 22, 23 range. So, you know, that's the next step um, in a breakout. And look, we've had breakouts before. We've had them multiple times. We're going to have a breakout again. It's coming very, very soon. So, you know, here it is. Um, all the people who, by the way, all the traders, here's the thing. All the traders that we've been talking about, all the traders that have been, you know, part of this, they're going to come back once they see how much is being burned that it changes the supply. They're going to see uh, a very large value return to their wallet off of one of those holdings uh, when it's diluted further and or once we have the or diluted, the opposite of dilute. When uh, there's fewer supply running around, you're going to see an enormous spike in the value and that's going to attract people saying, oh no, the comeback might be real. That's what we're looking for. And then when they come and they see 137 billion is what was burned. And now all of a sudden we've burned twice that much in one day. Um, that's going to create some excitement. Then they're going to find out about uh, the potential for a repeg proposal. Then they're going to find out about the tax implementation in so much as right now we call it tax to gas, but a new way, uh, the reverse charge uh, mechanism which might be implemented. Um, but you know, things are progressing at a, um, a very quick rate all of the sudden. So guys, you're about to see something crazy happen. So just strap on, strap in, strap out, whatever, do whatever strap you need. Um, volume up 37% on the day, but marketing, you know, we, we've apparently reached kind of the top right now of that market need a little profit taking before we next leg up. Uh, by the way, if you kind of look at this, then you can see that that's likely sort of playing out. Uh, if I zoom in, then you can see we're again pushing through that bottom and making our way back up to the top of the range. And if we do that, breakout obviously uh, going to happen. So USTC up 47%. Uh, it's up on market cap for the day, which is a good sign. 
Uh, everybody needs to have a little bit of USTC. Not because I'm convinced that something big is going to happen, by the way, but I do think that like six cents is in the card. So I think it's an easy 3x from here, you know, something like that. So um, I, I would be watching for, you know, a, a little bit of a breakout on USTC at some point. Now, it's been good news from USTC for a little while, uh, which means that there is some risk involved with when you kind of zoom out here on the one month, you can see here, like, you know, we were trading at 1.8 cents. You go back to the one year and you can see that you know at some point we're down here at that one at, at 1 1.5 stuff like that so and, and by the way you know when you look at it this is move this moves coming again right six cents uh so that's a 3x from where we are um but it's a 4x from down here so you know there's some uh there's some opportunity here i think that you're going to see and you're going to like seeing uh this thing play out pretty soon so you know make sure you got a bag just a little bag but a bag uh, as far as Lunk Dash goes, uh, we've got one proposal that's kind of sitting out here. Um, there's no votes. Maybe something just came up. I haven't looked at it yet. So uh, if, if there is something new, then we'll check it out. 189 million burned. Again, not a great number, but you know uh, it's been kind of a, a wonky sort of week. Uh, but big time burn coming very, 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 very soon. Uh, as far as burns yesterday, just just a very tiny amount, 11 million. Um, over here on USTC, only 4.5. So, you know, one of those days. Now, if you want to trade some meme coins, you want to do anything, go to terraport.finance. Um, and, and by the way, as far as all the drama and everything goes, um, I don't give a shit about it. I don't really care about it. So uh, we're not going to address it anymore. Uh, if people don't like Vegas, they're free to not like Vegas. I don't care. Uh, people don't like Jay, Happy Caddy Crypto. You shouldn't. You should like him. But if you don't like him, I don't care. It doesn't matter. If you don't like me, I also don't care. It's okay for you, for you to not like certain people in these ecosystems. Uh, and it's also um, because we are crypto, you know, it's all a cult. So uh, you can choose whatever faction of that cult you want to. And as long as we're at the end of the day, we're working for the betterment, what we think of Luna Classic, I don't care what you think of me. I don't care what you think of Jay. I don't care what you think of Vegas. I don't care what you think of Strathcole, Rex. I don't care what you think of Mr. Diamond Hands. I don't care what you think of anybody, except Levi. You know, fuck that guy. We don't like him. Uh, but uh, if you like any of this stuff, then uh, go go trade your rocket. Is I think having a pretty good day. Uh, hamster meme. Hamster meme continues to impress. Cat with hat, all time high. By the way, if we come over here to Cat with hat, here we are right at that all time high one more time. Uh, boys, not at an all-time high, but starting a nice little recovery. Uh, boy, uh, Juris also kind of ma making its way up all-time high over and over and over and over and over again. By the way, $8 million market cap now for Juris. So when this uh, protocol launches, when the lender, when everything starts to all come together, when it's all there, oh, très magnifique. It's going to be crazy. Right. Uh, by the way, make sure you got some base tokens as well. Uh, we don't have anything to really go over today as far as all of these goes. We looked at Lunk Zombie yesterday. Uh, I'm going to play some Rocket Defense today. I don't know about you, but I'm going to play some Rocket Defense today. Uh, see if I can win myself a little bit um, of, of coins. And uh, we'll see what happens here. But, you know, for the next couple of days, there's going to be some, um, uh, you know, there, there's the market's going to be weird. I, I think there's uh, U.S. data coming out. There's, you know, uh, certain feelings in the market. Uh, people are looking for reason for rate cuts. People are looking for reasons for uh, a lack of rate cuts. You know, a lot of arguing. But we're getting close to an election. That's going to move the market a lot. Uh, it looks like he who shall be nameless. And I have to say that because Twitter doesn't like or, or YouTube doesn't like him for some reason. Uh, but, you know, uh, I mean, that's your vote if you're crypto, if you're if you're pro crypto. Right. Um, and it's looking like he's looking better in all of the statistics and stuff like that. So if that happens, I think that's really, really good for cryptocurrency, generally speaking, and overall, uh, because look, say what you will about the economy, but he's going to throw money at you. He's going to throw money at me. He's going to throw money at the economy in order to make it soar and to help everybody. Will that blow a budget, a hole in the deficit? Probably, but I don't care. That's, you know, um, I mean, I'm supposed to care, right? But I don't care. Let's, you know, throw more money in my pocket. Allow me to make millions of dollars in cryptocurrency. I, I <laughs> tax me, bro. You know what I mean? Tax me. So anyway, uh, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Thank you so much for tuning in. And remember, this is not financial advice, but I'm always right.